Hello everyone. Welcome to another Amiga Heaven. This week we are going back to point and click titles. And I'm going to leave this whole intro in because I remember it being a bit longer than, than normal. Um, it is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now, if we're being honest, I do not think that this is the first Indiana Jones title. But, it's the one I'm playing. <laughs> we'll be looking at the others as well. At some point. But this is one of the point and click titles that knew what it was doing. As you can see, Ron Gilbert was attached. He was involved. Which obviously goes to show that it's going to be relatively positive. And here we go. Let's get in this. Starts in New York. Hey, lots of people standing around chatting. Hello, Marcus. Indy, you're back. Yes. And I have the cross of... somewhere. I know how long you've been looking for that. All his life is wet. Why is he wet? It wasn't raining outside. Yeah, why are you all wet? Okay. I'd better go change. I need that translation you were going to do for me. Oh, yes. Let me just get out my notebook. Good work, Indy. We have to get out of those wet clothes. Here we go. And we go and change. Now, there is actually a part of this game in which if I was to go back in there, he will change into a boxing outfit. And we can box the guy in the ring. If anything, it's a good way to get some practice in for fighting. Because if I remember correctly, that is a thing in this game. I think it's definitely a thing in one of the indie games. And let's have a little chat with Marcus. Hello, Marcus. Did I miss anything while I was gone? Let's see. Remember last month, the professor asked you to date that expensive Mexican statue? Well, yes, that cheap imitation. He didn't believe me until I broke it in half in front of him. That may have been a bit harsh. Um, yeah, what situation? You see, we'd hired a new geologist who fancies him quite an archaeologist. He advised him to buy it. His name is John Reed. Don't know what the geology department had in mind when they picked him up. Never mind. Congratulations on obtaining the cross. Huh. Bye. Alright then. Let's um, go into the 
office. Go in the office. Okay, I had to click. Students, students, please be patient. Dr. Jones will be back soon. Oh, nice. She's literally pulling her hair out. What is going on here? These students are very upset. Okay, uh, well, let's talk to the students then. Yeah. Go find someone else. Yeah, the guy that we were just told about. John Reed, go find him. He wants to be an archaeologist, he can do the work. <laughs> wow. I mean, look at all this stuff he has, <laughs> all this ridiculous stuff. Right, so... There's a bunch of stuff in here. Some things we can actually interact with. I can't remember. I think it's something up here that we might have to look at. Uh, none of that. Oh, hello, stones. Okay. From the Temple of Doom, I believe. Ah, there we go. We need that solvent for something later. Uh, oh yes, okay. We're picking all this up. Pick all up, take all your junk mail. Hello. There's a box underneath. Looks important. But leave all the rest of the junk mail there. We don't need any of that. It's a package from his father. It's his Grail diary. Ooh. Can't be good for him to have sent us that. You wouldn't think. Okay, well let's leave. We can't go out the other way because of all the students. Dr. Jones, please come with us. Toward a pier, there is no choice. But it's a very nice car. Good morning, Dr. Jones. I hope I didn't alarm you. I'm not sure to such unorthodox methods of investigation or interrogation. I know who you are. Your contributions to the museum have been extremely generous. And I must say some of your pieces have been quite impressive. Look, have a look over here. You may find something interesting. Early Christian symbols. Where did you possibly find these? A spring welling up inside him for, for eternal life. Where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord resides forever. Tis the Holy Grail. Brings eternal life. Every man's dream, including your father. In any case, an attempt to recover the growl is underway.
This slab is one of two markers left by the knights during the First Crusade. It suggests that a description of the Grail can be found on the way to the knight's tomb. It doesn't say where the knight's tomb might be found. Okay, so it's in Italy, they believe. Oh, and they want us to take over the quest. Oh, okay. So they were already talking to his dad. But he has since disappeared. All right, then. Well, let's go and have a look. Oh, wow. Looks like they took him without his consent. All right, let's have a look at some things. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, it's not on the desk. I, I, you see, I'm remembering things. Yes, can I? It's a painting when I was a little boy. It's a trophy my father won. And I'll pick that up. Can I pick that up? Because that looks like a grail. Okay, can, can I pick that up? No, I can't pick that one up, okay. Let's uh, look in the bed. Oh, okay, you looked under the bed, fine. I do remember I need to do something with the bookshelf, I think. And I'm sure I have to, yeah, move this. Ah, oh, the plant, okay. Because I'm pretty sure this is where something is in this table. What does that do? I don't know. Okay, right, I need a key. Um, maybe it was this thing. I feel like I've got to push this over. Oh, sorry, I've got to push it twice. Yeah, there we go. There's something right. I think I can just about see a different colour. There's something here. Uh, I think it's there. Yeah, there we go. Kind of lumpy. All right, I think that's everything we can do at the moment here. Let's go back to the university. Because you see, that is now what I need the solvent for. Because if we now use sticky tape with the solvent, there's a key. And now we can go back. Lovely. Oh, we're going to go to Venice in a minute. I just want to get what's in this. We've literally just come back, haven't done any of our actual job. But screw it, let's go to Venice instead. Oh. See, it's like pit 
pixel out or something. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, all right. So when I select what is, it just tells me where everything is. Oh, well, that makes it easier. Okay, but there's definitely something in here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, what is this old book? This is a diary made. I was a little boy. I was supposed to look like my father's. Ah, oh, so it's a pretend growl diary is what that is. Okay, then. Well, in that case, what we're going to do is we are now going to travel to Venice. Look at this. We're traveling by map. There we go. That's a stop off at Newfoundland, apparently. Then to the Azores. I don't know why you would stop at the Azores. Tiny little islands. But we made it. And that's where we're going to stop for today. Thank you very much for watching. This has been an Amiga Heaven. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do love the point and click titles. There's much more story involved, etc. Please like and subscribe. Please take a look at some of my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.